Hello everyone, this is Raghunath from Sinta Karam. So today I am going to discuss about a topic in combinators. It is the bijection principle. It is mainly used in counting. For example, if you have a set that is very hard to count. And suppose you have another set which is easy to count. Now this bijection is a relation between these two sets that takes this hard set. Which was hard to count and maps it to the easiest set that is which is easy to count and that exhibits a relation so that counting this is same as counting this. So this concept is highly useful for students who are preparing for IOQM and AMC, which are the preliminary round of Math Olympiads in India, America. So let's go into the concept. Let's learn what is a bijection principle. Bijection is a map is a type of a map from a set to another set. It is a one-on-one -on -one map. That is, if you have a set X and a set Y, then each element of set X has a unique image in the set Y. And all the elements of set Y has a pre-image in the set X. These are the conditions for bijective map. Let me show you how a bijective maps look like. It looks something like this. Each element of X has a unique image like this in element of Y. So we can clearly see that the number of elements in X is same as the number of elements in Y for such a map. Because each has a correspondence with an element of Y, like a one-to-one -one correspondence. So this makes sure that counting the set X is same as counting the set Y. That is, the cardinality of set X is same as the cardinality of Y. So just reminding you again, bijective map is a type of a map. So this is known as bijective map in which each element of the domain has a unique image in its codomain. That is, no two elements map to the same element in the codomain. This will not happen. And also, there are no elements in Y which are left over. That, that means all elements has a pre-image in the set X. So, it makes our counting simpler. Why? Because counting the set X is no same as counting the set Y. But counting the set X might be harder because the set X might be very hard to build or realize. Whereas the set Y might be easier to build. Let's see an example. So here is a problem that involves the bijection principle. There are 10 books arranged in a line on a bookshelf. So here is a bookshelf and you have 10 books on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The question is in how many ways can we select four books so that no two books are consecutive? So you should not choose Two consecutive books. That's the condition. Suppose, let's number the books from 1 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A valid selection would be choosing 2, 4, 6 and 9. You can clearly see that no two books are consecutive. What would be an invalid selection? Instead of choosing 6, if I chose 8, that would be invalid. So we need to count the number of valid selections. So clearly setwise this is not very easy. But let's map it to some other set and count that one. How am I going to construct this map? So put a tick mark for the books that you are selecting. For example, if you select 2, 4, 7 and 10, put a tick mark. 
and assign them the number 1 the digit 1 and if you are not selecting a particular book assign a digit 0 so what you will essentially have is a sequence of zeros and ones thus forming a binary sequence right so what's the idea of it why will this be helpful so here I can construct a set out of my choices that I make I can construct a set which are nothing but the binary sequences of length 10 that contain exactly four ones and of course six zeros such that no two ones are consecutive right that is the set y that I was talking about which is relatively easier to count the set x is actually the, is the one that was asked in the question. So set Y is nothing but set of binary sequences with four ones and six zeros such that no two ones are consecutive. Now, the set X is the actual set that was asked in the question, which was counting the number of ways to select the books which are not consecutive. So, let's count Y, which is indirectly counting X because of this bijection map. This would be a bijection and as a homework, you can try to prove this yourself. So, counting the set Y is not very difficult. Since ones need not be consecutive, should not be consecutive, we can consider the zeros first being placed. We would have six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Six zeros shall produce seven gaps in between them, right? From the, the you should also consider the gap at the start and the last. And out of these seven gaps, we need to select four gaps. The number of ways to select or choose four gaps would be seven choose four. Out of the seven blanks, I'm choosing four blanks to insert the ones. This is to ensure that the ones are not consecutive. So you will get a one. So for suppose if I select this blank, this blank, this one and this one, then the ones come like this. And of course, they are not consecutive because we are trying to fill up the blanks. So seven choose four ways which is 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 by 4 into 3 into 2. So 4 and 4 cancels, 6 and 6 cancel, giving us 35 ways. That is, the cardinality of set Y is 35, which means the number of ways to choose the books so that they are not consecutive is also 35. So kindly, as a homework, try to prove that this map is a bijection. So thank you everyone, we will meet in the next video.